At least 23 people reported killed in Syria as riot police fire live ammunition on anti-government demonstrators. Aid agencies warn of a looming hum humanitarian crisis in Ivory Coast's main city, Abidjan. And can a last-minute deal be reached to avoid a shutdown of the U.S. government? Welcome to BBC World News. I'm Jamie Robertson, also in this programme. Embarrassing climb down for Rupert Murdoch's News International. It says sorry, and it offers compensation to celebrities caught up in its phone hacking scandal. And a scare on board a British nuclear submarine. A sailor is arrested after shooting two of his colleagues. Hello, welcome. The restive city of Dara is Syria, which has been the focal point of anti-government protests, has seen at least 23 more people killed by riot police using live ammunition. There were also other demonstrations across the country, with perhaps two killed at the nearby city of Douma. The political unrest comes just a week after President Bashar al-Assad offered to consider some reforms. Lina Shinjab has this report from Damascus. More violence and more accusations of security forces killing anti-government protesters in Dara. The city in southern Syria has been a focus of unrest for weeks, and the security crackdown here almost a month ago 